Okay guys, so we're going to show you today how to fit the R50 16 wheel. So obviously you've seen we have these in stock. So for the white one that we've bought, we've just had this white stitched, white centre leather steering wheel made for that one. Flat bottomed as well as you can see. Carbon's really nice on that one. So we're going to upgrade the steering wheel controls at the same time. So obviously we'll show you in a bit how to fit the wheel. If you're wondering why there's silver and then it changes to black. We just wanted the black buttons because we thought it'd match in well. So we'll show you on this one how to how to basically transfer all that onto the new steering wheel and then we'll go on to show you how to fit the wheel. So you'll notice on these, which is this, they've got just four push-in plugs there. So obviously on the push-in plugs, they just push in. So soft trim tool underneath, prise that off. Once you've got the airbag off, which we'll show you later, you can just pull these ones out. There's two torque screws on the back. So obviously look out for those. So there's two torque screws there, which are going to come out and then it's going to leave you like that. Now if you inspect the inside of the steering wheel, you can see the wiring length that goes up behind this metal cage, comes up behind that metal cage and there's just one plug there. So first of all, we're going to remove this portion here. So there we go guys, so there's them bits off, so now this wheel is for the bin. So onto the new steering wheel, so there we go. We're going to get the wiring loom and the controls and we're just going to rest them in place there. So as you can see, there's all these little push bits there, so you can tuck the wires back in. So obviously follow them all the way around and just get them resting there. Once that's in, Make sure they're all tucked and clutched behind. So obviously once you put this back on, keeping it in the same position, it's just going to go there and obviously make sure it's not trapping any of those wires. So that's it basically. We're going to put those four screws in, we're going to push those back down. Uh, we're going to apply some carbon features to these just to match into the wheel. Obviously you can decide which way you want to go, glass, black, etc. We do the steering wheel controls as well for these, so obviously we're going to add them in. We'll get building this back up together and we'll come back to you in a minute. Okay guys, so there it is. Obviously we put all the controls back in, wires all in, we checked all the screws. There's two screws obviously on the back to hold in the, the controls and then we've also added the, uh, the carbon steering wheel. So there you go, we'll go on now and show you how to fit it. Okay guys, so you saw us build the uh, steering wheel up earlier, so now we're going to show you how to fit it. Now I find what's best is something with a flat end. So quite easy on the R56, the first rule, and remember this, I'm going to keep repeating it, remove the battery at least half an hour before you would disconnect the airbag. So we've had this disconnected before we built the wheel, so we're plenty in now. Locks on etc. So you'll find underneath, directly underneath the steering wheel, there's a little hole in the airbag there. So we're going to get this, and we're just going to feel for that hole. <laughs> and we're just going to put that in there. Now you'll feel it'll hit a metal tab. Now what you're going to do is just press up like that and it ejects the airbag off the wheel as you can see just like that. I'll show you again in a minute when we remove this. So basically we're going to unwire that there. I'm going to take that spade off there. So you've got a spade there and a clip there. It's just a push of this to release that airbag's off. Now what you're trying to achieve with this is, I'll just show you again because it's easier to see. You can see the hole there. So obviously I'm going to insert that back under. Now what you're looking for is that bar there. So you can see when I press that bar, it releases those tabs. Right, so, so that's the mechanism that you're looking for. Once you've got to this point, obviously, it's just crack off this nut, which we'll do in a minute, and then give it a good jam. Okay guys, so you'll see 17mm in the middle, 
luckily, same as a wheel wrench, and obviously you need quite a hefty bar to take this off because it is fairly tight. So you're just going to put that on there, steering wheel's locked, and then you're just going to give it a tug off there. So what I suggest is, take the nut all the way out. This is just saving your teeth. So nut all the way out, you can see it's quite a long thread on that. And then to insert it back in, four or five turns like that, what you're going to do is just going to wiggle the wheel until it feels loose and then pull. So, you're not going to smash yourself in the face because it's like that. So we'll take that off. There we go, guys. Steering wheel disconnected. Now it's dead important you don't touch this bit. You can see that spins with the wheel. So that obviously cancels your indicator and things. So do not touch the ribbon. So we'll get the new wheel. So on these, they have a little keyway in the bottom, it's probably hard to see, but there is a little section there that only allows you to put it on a certain way. So obviously if you try and put it on like this, it won't lock on. Try and put it like this, it won't lock on. What you've got to do is, a little marker on the bottom there, line it up, line it up with your wheel. You're just going to turn it until you get that feel. So it won't cog off and it won't go, and there you go. So obviously we've got our wires there, wires there, that's on. So we're just going to insert the nut back in. <coughs> and see far, these got a massive thread on the one, so if it did come loose. So we're just going to put that on there. We've got this long bar. Just going to tighten that off. There we go, so that's that bit sorted. So back to the airbag. So obviously same as before, when you plug your steering wheel controls back in, which is that one, make sure it clicks. Give it a tug to make sure it's locked in. Again, earth wire first, because that's the longest one and it's fiddly if not. So earth wire on the bottom there. This one's a little bit trickier because it's so close, but Steering wheel controls back in, again, make sure they click on the airbag connects it. That one's in, double check, give them a tug. So you're just going to line this up here. There's no magic to this, like I say, do get it so it's sort of fairly in position. Click it back on. So as you can see there, everything's still working. We'll reveal the wheel. go guys that's it what a transformation that feels so much nicer actually looks and feels a lot newer as well so these are available on our website www.killorchrome.co.uk we do a variation so flat bottom obviously we can do the stitching in different colors we can do alicantara we can do perforated leather we can also do different colors of these if you want something bespoke get in touch we can get this ordered and give you an estimation on time we do keep these in stock, but obviously in different variations, so it depends what we've got in stock at the time. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe as always. Till next time.